Well, we have some information on um, Deborah Rivera. And that's bad for you. There's alternatives. I understand. So you you realize the governor has uh, called for the, this place to be closed down. It's after his order that no no elective procedures to be done. And they they uh, use they have to use gloves and PPE to to see you. So they're they're still having your their appointment with you. Yeah. It's like I have to wear protection too. Well, I understand, but um, have, have you been in there since since they since the governor's order? Yeah. Well, the governor the governor of Texas issued an order that all um, elective surgeries, elective procedures to be halted so the PPE can be collected for the hospitals. I understand, but... No, it, well, but they, they're going to use PPE to protect themselves and yourself, so what, what the governor's asked is all that PPE to go to the hospitals. We can't if they're using it. That's the problem. And so, well, I mean, they pay for it, they need it. Okay. Well, it's um, Friday, April 3rd, and it's uh, a little after 1.30 p.m. outside of Planned Parenthood, South Texas. And we're seeing that um, they're still having, Planned Parenthood, South Texas, still having appointments. Can we give you some, can we give you some information about, about Deborah Vera? How long have you used it? I'm 36 now. I've used it since I was 18. Oh, wow. You know, um, if a woman uses it for two years or more, she can suffer irreversible bone density loss. Yes, I do know that. Did they give you that information? I, I am aware that that's the risk that I'm taking. Okay. Um, well, I'm glad you have that information. How about, um, did they tell you how it works in your body, how it makes your body work? <clears throat> so it, it's intended to stop your ovulation, but sometimes you still ovulate. And because of the because of the way it works, it thins the uterine wall, the lining of the uterine wall. And if you got, if you had sex and you got pregnant, you conceived. You, you could release an egg. And if you conceived, the baby, the, the the embryo could not attach itself to the uterine wall because it's so thin. And so it actually causes a chemical abortion. So you. Oh, so why if you if your husband's fixed, why why uh, still take Depravera? Oh, you, oh, you're doing it for regular for so you don't so you don't have si menstrual cycles. Yep. Wow, knowing the risk. Yep. You know it's the only um, it's the only contraceptive that has a triple black box warning on it. Have you seen those? So, <clears throat> well, well, but there are certain things that are level one carcinogens. Smoking, um, uh, asbestos, mustard gas. The pill, all those things are level one carcinogens rated by the World Health Organization. So it's very bad for you. So I'm, I'm, well, I'm glad you know, but I'm sad that you're still taking it because it's very bad for you. So consider consider other alternatives. Yeah. Have you ever heard of Have you ever heard of natural family planning? Yeah, and I don't want to be so that was the only thing. All right. There are a few other options, but I like that. Well, okay. Well, I'll give you a. Uh, you might go look up. There's a website called uh, Natural Womanhood. Look it up, naturalwomanhood.org. Just look it up. It's great, great information for you. It might be, might be something to help you. And uh, you can go to San Antonio Family Association.com. And we have a link to it, to naturalwomanhood.org. Or you can just go straight to it, naturalwomanhood.org. It might have some great information for you. Okay. So may God bless you. So we're here... Um this is um, outside of 2140 Planned Parenthood, 2140 Babcock, Planned Parenthood, South Texas. <clears throat> and you see the new fence here that's on the public right of way. So when you go down here to the south of it, uh, up here where um, the peaceful protesters usually assemble, they have it on the sidewalk and um, constricting, uh, blocking the public right of way. And you still see that people are coming in here. And it's um, Friday, April 3rd. 2020, days after the governor's order, more than a week after the governor's order to shut down all elective procedures. Abortion is the number one, our most popular elective procedure in the United States of America, sadly, a sad fact. And um, Planned Parenthood South Texas is still open, still seeing people. And this woman right here is um, 
here for her Depro Vivera shot, her three month shot for um, long acting reversible contraceptive, uh, chemical contraceptive, medical contraceptive. All of them, all medical contraceptives act as, a, as an abortive patient. And uh, they all have a, um, an abortive patient nature to them where they can cause a chemical, a chemical abortion. So there's obviously still using PPE here because they're still seeing patients. As this woman walks in right now, as y'all zoom in, you can see her was in this car. And she admitted she's going in to see Planned Parenthood in South Texas. And um, there she goes walking in to uh, Planned Parenthood in South Texas now. And um, here's her car. And um, my mic is turned off. So hopefully you've been able to hear that. And um, this car right here in front of me, um, this Nissan right here, and um, as uh, the lady here, well, the woman here walked in to Planned Parenthood South Texas for her Depo Provera shot, and she just admitted this is uh, again Friday, April 3rd, 2020, more than a week after the governor's order, executive order to shut down all and halt all elective procedures. So they're still seeing patients here. So from the San Antonio Family Association on the sidewalk at 2140 Babcock, uh, we bring this important information to the people of Texas and to the elected officials. SanAntonioFamilyAssociation.com, San Antonio Family Association on Facebook. May God bless Texas, may God bless you, especially during this pandemic time. And uh, signing out from here.